the final trailer today got released for the upcoming Harry Potter world film, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Now, a lot of people have been getting pretty excited about this. I've liked the trailers we've had up till now, but they did save their best trailer for last. This new trailer for Crimes of Grindelwald that dropped this morning is the best one they've put out yet. Not one of the, not necessarily the best trailer of the year or anything like that, but definitely the best one they've done. We've got really good looks at Johnny Depp as Grindelwald. I think he looks really great in the film. I like the character that I'm seeing him about. Granted, it's just a trailer. We're not seeing a whole hell of a lot. We also got a better look at Jude Law playing uh, Dumbledore. I really liked him in the film or in the trailers as well. I've always been excited about his casting as Dumbledore. And in the trailer, they once again highlight the fact, like Newt Scamander is saying to Dumbledore, look, why don't you go after Grindelwald? And he says, I can't move against Grindelwald. And then they show that flashback to both of them as younger men, suggesting the relationship between them. I thought that was interesting. My favorite moment in the trailer, though, comes not from a big visual effect or a big monster or anything like that. My favorite moment of the trailer came in a conversation between Newt and his brother, and his brother's saying to him, a time is coming when you're going to have to pick a side. And Newt says my favorite line in the trailer. He looks at him and he says, I don't do sides. I love that. I love that about this character. And I love the fact that you're getting this type of a character in the middle of this drama that's playing out where it looks like the wizarding world wants to move against the muggle world, all that kind of stuff. And you got Newt's commander in the middle going, I don't do sides. And he's just clearly trying to stop a conflict. And that's all set up earlier in the trailer. By a line from Dumbledore who says, that's what I love about you, Newt. You don't seek power. You only ever ask, is this right? And that was important earlier in the trailer because I believe it sets up that line later in the trailer when he's talking to his brother and says, I don't do sides. All he does is ask what's right. Now, of course, we've got an Academy Award winning actor. We've got multiple Academy nominated actors in this film. We've got an Academy Award winning actor in the lead role. And look, I like the last film. I did. I, I liked Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It didn't blow my socks off, but I liked it. Now, here's some interesting t statistics when we're talking about Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Number one, it was the lowest grossing film domestically of all the Harry Potter world films. Now, it still made over $200 million domestically, which is nothing to sneeze at, but it was the lowest amount of money domestically speaking, the North American box office, that any of the Harry Potter films made. Also, it was the second lowest worldwide grossing Harry Potter film. Oddly enough, the only movie worldwide that Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them made more than was a lot of people's favorite Harry Potter film, which was Harry Potter 3, uh, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Like, that is the only film worldwide that made less than Fantastic Beasts, which is funny because a lot of people, that's their favorite Harry Potter film. But even though Fantastic Beasts was the lowest grossing domestic film of all the series, was the second lowest worldwide film of all the series, despite all of that, the film still made over $800 million. It still made over $814 million. Look, that's a win. You're talking about trying to relaunch one of the most beloved film franchises of all time, now trying to relaunch it in that world without your central character, a Harry Potter world movie without Harry Potter. That's a challenge. It was still going to make money for sure, but look, for it to come out and make $814 million and get pretty positive reviews, I mean, it wasn't loved across the board, but it got over 70% on the critic ratings. The audiences seemed to like it. And it built some momentum for them. Now, whether this new one, based on these trailers and based on the previous film's success, is going to do any better, I don't know. I, I don't think we're looking at the next film to join the Billion Dollar Club or anything like that, but it could beat out the previous one. But I think they got this franchise off to a good start. Now, let's see if they can follow that momentum through as they come in now with the sequel with Crimes of Grindelwald. All right. With that out of the way, let's now move on to our other topics today.